There is some absolutely massive news in the Time Splitters world. Koch Media, who are part of THQ Nordic, have bought the IP and have got the rights to Time Splitters. They've also got Second Sight, but I think people care a bit more about Time Splitters. This is great news. This looks like there may be a project in the line. But if we look at THQ and what they bought previously, if we use something like Darksiders for an example, we're probably looking at a few years until something comes out. We may get a remaster, but for Time Splitters 4, who knows? With all that potential time you have to wait, what you should be doing, if you haven't already, is emulating the game. I use Dolphin, you can scale it up real high, you can make the textures look amazing. But what you can also do is have mouse and keyboard support. In the background here, I am running the first level of the second game, which is Siberia, mostly because loads of people remember it. You can see how quickly you can make the shots. You can aim completely different. It breathes so much life into this game. There was only so far that you could go with emulation. Like you can go up to 4K, you can do 16 times textures, but the controls always let Time Splitters 2 down quite a bit. In fact, one of the reasons that I preferred playing Time Splitters Future Perfect was nothing to do with the game and the content, it was to do with how it controlled. The third game in the series had more of a modern feel about it. Time Splitters 2, we've all got wicked memories of it, but if you pick up a PlayStation 2 controller, it does take a while to get back into it, and it is definitely not as precise as using a mouse and a keyboard. I'm just going to skip a few seconds here while <laughs> nothing's happening. Yeah, something I wanted to show here. You look at the bottom left, the inputs, control. It's a crouch, you know, muscle memory. You just can zip straight into this, and it's just like every other PC game that you've been playing. There still is the slight, I don't know, awkwardness that you have to push down right click to bring up the crosshair. But to be honest, it was it was really forgotten quite quickly. Uh, I can remember this when I was actually playing this on the console, even this part here. Losing a lot of health, being a massive pain in the ass. But no, it's, <laughs> it's surprisingly simple. Even with me missing a few of the shots. Before I get on to how you can get the files and set this up yourself, I'm just going to show a bit of arcade action here. Again, you can see how quickly you can aim, get a headshot, move on. Previously, using a normal controller, you have auto aim in Time Splits 2, and this is by default. It's completely off here, and without auto aim on, I'm doing a lot, lot better. Right, let's get on to getting you up and running. First things first, you are going to need Dolphin Emulator. Links are in the description below, but you want to go to download, you basically pick the one which is for your computer. You save it, put it where you want it, move on. Next, you're going to need a ROM of the game. Now this is completely up to you and this is a legal grey area, especially what's going on with MU Paradise at the moment, but as you can see, you can still get the game. Preferably if you already own a copy of it. The last thing that you're going to need is the mouse injector file. This is also linked in the description below. When you click it, it's going to save automatically. You want to unzip that file into the location where you have your Dolphin emulator. Right, so now that you have got all your files downloaded, you want to go ahead and open Dolphin. Bring it over here. Go to controllers. Port 1, configure. And you want to go over here to devices just to make sure that keyboard mouse is there. Go to profile, put time splitters, and just to make sure, click load, click close. Okay, open. I don't care where you got your ROM from, but you might have saved it somewhere. Open the ROM there. Click play. Bring Dolphin over here so you can see it. The game is running. Go to one player, go to checks for safe profiles and you should have one here called Mouse WASD. Start that one up. Now you want to go back to the files that you downloaded and double click Mouse Injector. Now what you'll have is this loaded up and you've also got a little menu here of how things to work. The most important one you've got to remember is number four. Number four starts and stops the mouse being recognized within Dolphin. Let's just load up a quick game and see how it works. Normal, doesn't matter. I'm only going to be taking two shots. Oh, bollocks. Here we go, into the game. Now, 
I'm only moving forwards and backwards here, the mouse isn't working. Push number four, there we go, moving about. Get this, mouse wheel, roll in, zoom in, dead. And now I'm gonna quit. There you go, easy as that. I hope you found that easy. You'll definitely find the game easy after you've put this on. There is tons of Time Splitters content on our channel. Uh, have a look if you want to. If you don't, that's fine as well. All the best. I'll see you on Time Splitters 4.